Hey guys, it's Sampsy Squared here, and as you guys see, I am prestiging in here, but that's not what I want to talk to you guys about today. Today, I actually want to talk about schoolwork. Yes, yeah, schoolwork. We all know the thing we get from school. Some people think it's too bad, some people don't. I'm the one who thinks it's not too bad, I'm just a lazy person who doesn't really do my work. Until last minute, I am a procrastinator. I'm the best procrastinator known to man. Just to let you guys know that. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Anyway, what I know, what I want to talk about today is actually geography work. I'm not complaining about any class. What I'm going to be talking about is a country or a continent, which is South America, Latin America, not Latin, but Latin America. Okay, Latin America is so messed up right now. And if you guys don't know what Latin America is, it's it's like Places like Peru and Colombia and Nicaragua and places like that. All right. War. Is that you? So Latin America is so messed up right now. What do they have? They have people. <clears throat> sorry. They have dictators like what's his name? Daniel Ortega. I have to do a paper on him. Daniel Ortega is a suckish bastard. Sorry about my language, but he is. Daniel Ortega. If you heard that, I'm being honest right now. Not being mean, I'm being honest. I mean that to you, okay? Daniel Ortega is a dictator who took over Nicaragua. He's not really a dictator, but he's like the president for his third semester, third thing of Nicaragua. Why? He's president because he keeps rigging the elections and having be having votes, like multiple votes going in for him. And it's not fair, it's cheating. Yeah, cheating sucks. Alright, anyway, <clears throat> so, Latin America, what do they have? Their economy is crap. Places, not all places, like Cuba is a good economy, but America blocks it. By the way, this gameplay sucks. In my, this, uh, this, my gameplay sucks in this. Hopefully it gets better. Uh, I'll upload another one. I have better gameplay, so yeah, I'll have those up soon. I sprayed right there. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying. Their economy sucks, most of it. Like Peru, I think yeah, it is Peru. They have their government in Peru. What happens? The people of Peru, they're poor, so they can't afford much. They can't afford houses. They can't afford medical bills. They can't afford anything. So what do they do? They take the they live in garbage and they build themselves favelas. From sorry about that. I I just ate crackers and drank chocolate milk. So yeah. <clears throat> anyway. They live in favelas. What does the government decide to do? Every month or two, they go around in these dumps and they demolish all the favelas. Your people are poor. They have no house, no food, no money, no nothing. They built themselves shelter. And what do you do? You demolish it. Yeah, they're all getting sick and dying from it, but you guys aren't doing crap to help them. The heck is that? Either help them or shut up and leave them. Right? That's basically what Peru is doing. They're they're not helping them. They're not leaving them. They're like they claim they help them but they don't. They just go around and demolish, 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 demolish. Anyway. Nicaragua. Sandinistas and uh What's the other one? Sandinistas, let me check. Uh, Corpus in loop. Some book have here somewhere. Sorry, I'm I'm going through my geography book while doing this. Sandinistas. Where is it? Sorry about that guys. Contras, yeah, Contras and Sandinistas. Okay, the Contras are a Nicaraguan co a co counter revolutionary guerrilla force from 1917 is 1979 to 1990 and they're on the leftist which means they're more uh, communist yeah more communist no no capitalist nope communist sorry contras are communist okay Sandinistas are a member of the left-wing Nicaraguan political organization Okay, what happened? Contras came in, killed a bunch of people, got overrun, 
head. And the Sandinistas came in. Didn't kill it. Uh, didn't kill many people. What they did was they went around, and they had actual like <coughs> they had groups of government. There's a guy right there that kills. Me. Damn it! Yeah, they had a group of actual government. This government actually stood themselves running, but they supported some selfish bastard named Daniel Ortega. But what did Daniel Ortega do? He rigged everything. He cheated, he lied, he stole, he didn't really steal, but he cheated and he lied. Did he? Either it was him, or the Sandinistas, who stole 150,000 votes and 12 to 8 to 12 seats. And those big meeting things where a bunch of civilized groups come. Why did I put that there? Anyway. So that was... That's so Daniel Ortega and Sandinistas and uh, Contras. <clears throat> okay. Now, next thing I want to talk about is drug trade in companies and countries. People, to people, drugs are bad. Don't do drugs. Don't ever do drugs. Okay. You claim they can't kill you, can't harm you. Look what happens to other people. They're dead. From drugs, people die. Their brain has holes in them. You're dying, man. You're dying. Okay. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, Cuba has massive, massive, massive amounts of drug uh, trades. Why? Because Cuba, uh, Cuba has a drug farm where they make like pot and crack and stuff like that, and they sell it. So the companies will trade it, they'll sell it to the people and stuff like that. Yes, Cuba, alright. Because America blocked Cuba. <laughs> blocked the lead. <laughs> anyway, they'll block Cubans from entering and exiting the United States. So, sorry. Cuba has drug trades. What does drug trades do to your country? Well, good question. Drugs tear your people apart. They make. Good people become bad, they make bad people become good. No, they make bad people become worse. What the hell was I doing there? They make bad people become worse, okay? All for what? All over drugs. What do, what do they get out of the drugs? Not many people in Cuba have drugs because they're not all rich. Some do, yeah, but most of them don't because they can't afford it. But what do drugs do? Drugs separate your people, drugs kill you. And it brings them money. It brings them tourism. We could say it brings them tourism. Because it does. It brings drug dealers into the country. To get drugs. Anyway. Brings tourism. This tourism and this, I mean money. Brings money. This money is used to form other drug plants. Oh, uh, yeah, drug plants. Other drug plants form. Continues and larger and larger and larger and larger. So, that's the drug plants, drug firms, drug topic of Cuba. That's Latin America. That's mainly what I want to talk about you guys, uh, to you guys, talk about to you guys today. Guys, I'm confused right now and I'm tired. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make fun of me if you want. Alright, peace. This is MC Squared. See you later. Bye-bye.